Last month, I walked you through the differences between modal and modalist dialogue boxes and when they can be applied. So this month, we're going to take a closer look at common best practices that you can use when designing error messaging for your user interface. Whether you're using modal or modalist dialogue boxes, I hope that these will help you develop user-friendly messaging for your next designs. Some guidelines for error messaging that have been popularized in the UX community are known and coined into what are called the four H's of error messaging. The first H stands for humans. Your message should be written with the user in mind. It should be in plain language so the user knows how their work has been impacted and what steps they can take to recover. Your second H stands for helpful. Provide specific instructions and immediate feedback, but also try avoiding to state the obvious. The third H is for humor. Whenever appropriate, you can consider incorporating humor into your message, but it's not always the case that um, you might want to incorporate that, especially if the user's lost a lot of data. And the last H stands for helpful. Your message should always assume faults and never blame the user. In addition to these tips, I've gathered up a few ideas and thoughts that I just wanted to list out. I thought they would be helpful to share, so let's just go into those. One, recover as much information as possible in forms. Two, avoid annoying the user with overuse of colors or loud fonts, for instance, red alerts. Um, if you have too much red, it's not very readable. Study where the errors occur and implement changes that can eventually lead to pre error prevention. Highlight the errors to make sure it's more visible for the user to be able to locate an error. And finally, try avoiding using the same error message for multiple situations. If you have anything that I missed out on or you have any questions about what I've discussed today, please feel free to leave a comment below or tweet me at Angie Lee TV. Thanks again so much for watching and have a great week. My name is Angie Lee and we're going to dive in and explore some of the things that I've learned this month with proper air handling.